Good morning. I want to um, thank everybody for joining us. I still see people joining in, so we're going to give them just a couple more minutes and then we'll get started today. Thank you. While we're waiting, can everyone hear me clearly? Yes, we're going to be recording this and we will be sending it out to all attendees once we've um, completed the recording. All right, if everyone can hear me, I think we're going to get going. I'm going to start with a short presentation today and then I have Inga here with me, and she's actually going to walk through our editor a little bit and show you how easily our products are to work with, and then we will open it up to questions. Alex Bachman is our founder and chairperson. He's actually a serial entrepreneur. This is his fourth company. Snappy was founded in 2011. We have 37 employees at this time. Our locations are Rochester, New Hampshire, which is our corporate. Our sales and support resides in this office. And we also have another office in Razan, Russia, and that's where our development team resides. Our platform is a codeless app platform. But in addition to our platform, we offer 80 plus business and industry mobile apps that can be customized to meet your needs. Some of our more prominent customers are Hister and Yale, which are NACO owned companies. Driscoll's, I'm sure a lot of you have seen Driscoll's in your grocery store. National Lease, what they do is they offer a AAA for trucks. Sarens Group, Ryerson Group, and then M&W. We are number one in the business industry specific mobile app space. You can find our apps in Google and at the Apple stores. And we really cover a broad array of verticals from general business apps to construction specific apps, oil and gas apps. You can see the entire list here. I don't think you want to hear me read through them, but if you go into the Google and or Apple store and plug in Snappy, all of our apps will appear. Here's just a handful of samples. We offer, as I mentioned, construction specific apps. We offer inventory specific apps. We offer healthcare apps, and any one of these can be customized to meet your specific requirements. They were all built on our platform, which again, as I said, is codeless. Our platform allows us and yourself, if you choose to, to build apps in days and not months. Our platform is used by not only technical and developers, but also by business people. We're hearing from Gartner that business people are starting to really 
take over their mobile direction. It's, the platform is designed to simply drag, drop, and configure behavior. And you can immediately see on your own device the progress that you've made. We can connect to data anywhere, literally. We can connect through ODBC drivers. We can connect through API calls. So we can connect to your databases. We can connect to your web services and to your backend systems. We also offer a snappy database as well that you can take advantage of. What we hear from our prospects and our clients often is their biggest struggle is user acceptance. If you are left to hand code your app, it's going to take you months to develop it. You'll put it in your user's hands, and you may find that all that work and time you've spent developing that app is useless because your users aren't happy with it. We've designed our platform for rapid prototyping. You can put together an app in just a couple days. You can get it out to your users and get their feedback which in the end will save you time and money. Our apps are true native apps. We generate apps for the iOS and Android platform. It's written directly to SDKs. No compromises in performance in the UI. And we have developers in-house who actually write the code for our platform. I believe right now we've got six Android developers and five Apple developers. I'm going to turn this over to Inga. And what we're going to do is we're going to take one of our business mobile apps. We're going to quickly do some development in it so that you can see how quickly and easy it is to actually customize one of our apps. Okay, hello everyone. We are switching to our website. And from here we can open our mobile apps and see all the mobile apps, pre-built apps, which are also available in the app stores that we offer. So you see that they are divided into the categories. They are construction, inspection, heavy equipment, oil and gas, mobile points, and other categories of mobile apps. I'll simply choose the general business apps, because here you can find the applications that can suit almost every business, because who is not creating invoices, for example, or who is not collecting leads, because here you can find the most popular apps that almost every business may need. Um, I can choose one. Let's have an invoice manager app. Open it. And from here, I can customize it. I can customize it myself, or I can have it customized for me. So there are two options you can choose. And as we are going, as we are going to show you how to customize it using the editor, I can simply click I will customize the app myself button and the app will be copied into my Snappy account. So you need to have your Snappy account and you need to be logged in into the website to be able to copy the app into the account. I have already did it, so if I go to the website and click my account and open my apps, I see this invoice manager for iPad mobile application copied into my account. And from here, I can edit it. Let's click on this edit button to open the app in the editor. Here it is. Uh, you may notice that it is an iPad-specific canvas, this huge iPad screen that is visible now. But you can create a app for different canvases. That's what we are allowed to do. So it is an iPad canvas that is chosen right now. There is also a universal canvas, which allows you to create app once and automatically see it adjusted for different device screens like iPads, uh, iPhone of different models, Android smartphones, and Android tablets. So you can create 
the universe of canvas and the app will automatically run on different devices. But you can also create apps specifically for the different canvases and devices, like this is a specific iPad app. Um, let me tell you a couple of words about the app itself. So you see that it starts from the Get Started page, and actually it will be the only page that will be visible when you open the app. It prompts you to log in and to be registered and logged in within the app to use it. Uh, it is done with the help of the user management. So you may notice that here is a small lock icon which allows you to choose what types of users will these tabs be available to. Like this welcome tab is available for anonymous users only. And if we check the second tab, which is the invoice tab, which actually has all the forms where you can create invoices and things like that. If we check it, it's not available for the anonymous users, but it is available for the logged in. So until you log in, you won't see this button. So that's the idea. You can easily change it by checking off these small checks, and that's it. So the invoice tab, you see that the tabs are situated at the bottom of the device screen. And you can drag and drop the tabs from here. You can drag and drop them or simply click on a button and it will be added at the bottom to the tab section. Um, that's the small window that appears. It's the element settings. You can rename the tab. You can change its icon. So it's a little part of the configuration that we offer. If we check it, this new tab is here. We can remove it also very easily. And here in this section we have the buttons uh, and the elements which uh, you can use them to create the contents of the tab. So you can simply drag and drop any of them, configure it the way you want. And click OK. All the changes you do into the apps can be easily saved by clicking on the Save App button. As soon as you save your app, all the changes become available for previewing on your device. The way that you would preview your app on your device is if you download our Snappy Preview app from Google Play and or iTunes. Once you up once you've saved your app in our editor, you can simply update your preview app and you'll see all the changes. Yes, you can also download the preview by scanning these QR codes or if you click on these buttons, you'll see the links to the preview app. So here is Google Play application and here is the iTunes application. Um, let me check you, let me show you the forms itself. So here in the invoices tab, you can see the new invoice button, which is the invoice form. It consists of several input fields, which can be filled out and sent to your email address as a PDF or an Excel file, if you wish it. Um, and there are other forms, this, this small green button, so also forms. They are designed specifically for the invoice tab to make the filling out process easily. So you can, the invoice form can be pre-filled with the information you add using this seller, product and services form, shipping address form, etc. So, for example, if you add a seller with the help of this form, and then you will go to my new invoice form, you can simply add, click on the Add Seller button, and the seller that you added using Add Seller form will be there in the list. And you can simply choose it from there, and uh, there 
all these fields you see here will be prefilled with the information you submitted with the Excel mobile form. You can try it in the app if you copy this app into your account, it will be still working. Um, let's try to modify it a little. For example, um, if you don't want to have any user management, because, for example, I want to use this app myself and I don't need to be logged in and spend my time on registering within the app, on logging in, etc. I can simply remove the button that I don't need and the app will start from the invoice button. The only thing I need to do is to make it available for the anonymous users. And I can save the app now. You can also change the forms themselves by adding additional information to any of them. For example, I'd like to add a seller. I see that there is the company name, the company address, but there are no names for the person who sells it. So I, I can probably add a new field It will be a text field where I'll be putting the name let it be sales representative name. So I can modify the fields, make them required or not. I can modify the size of the fields. So this, if I want all the fields to be of the same length, I can change this one to be 280 and click OK. I can also add some text. You can copy and paste elements in the editor, which saves you a lot of time. So now I, ha now I have a new field that I probably that was probably missing before. So that's the general idea of how easily you can customize the forms. You can add the new forms if the existing ones do not work for you. You can customize and change the content and the fields of the forms. You can change, you can brand the app for your business by changing the color schemes which are here. So if you don't want it to be that green, I want it to be blue. So here. The app can be changed the way you like and can meet all your requirements. So that's the idea of the apps that we offer. They are 100% customizable. And you can do it yourself. You can customize the app yourself or you can have us to customize it for you. So all the options are available. And by the way, it can be a brand new app, a brand new custom app. You can create from scratch or we can create for you again. And now I think you can ask your questions and we'll be, we'll be happy to answer them. I see the question, can we easily customize the layout? Yes, you can. Um, the layout can be changed. You can change the icons of the buttons. You can 
simply lay out those buttons the way you want. You can create your own icons for those buttons. They can be of any shape and any size. So that's about the design. You can upload your background images using, using the image control. You can change the image. You can upload your, it from your computer. You can find it in the web. So in terms of design, the platform allows you to create your own unique views, your own unique layouts, whatever. So, yeah, the app can be customized the way you want. I see one more question. Can we use it to build event apps? Yes, why not? Um, you can probably lay out their events as a list or as a map or as a gallery using the images. Uh, and uh, we have, I think you can look at their app that we have probably. It can work for you. Um, we have the trade show its collection, which allows you to create the events and add leads into them. You can try to find some other application that we offer. Um, we'd, be happy, we'd be happy to hear your requirements, to look into them, and to tell you for sure what can be done within, using the platform using the platform at what cannot be done. We can also provide you with a time estimate if you are interested if you are interested in having us to creating this app for you. Um, all your requirements can be sent to sales at snappy.com and we'll be happy to review them. We're actually working on our online chat capability. I believe that that's going to be released in the Q1 time frame. Right now we offer open forums, but we will be offering user-to-user -user chat in the future. As I mentioned earlier in the presentation, all of our apps, our business apps, can be found in the um, iTunes and Google Play Store. We encourage you to find an app that might suit your needs, download it, and test it out. The trial is free. Or you can certainly register within the Snappy website and actually try to build a custom app from scratch on your own. It looks like we've answered everyone's questions at this point. We will be sending out the recording. And as Inga said, if you have, oh, wait a minute. Ask about charts. We're working on charts and graphs right now. And that should be released in the next couple weeks. So that will be available as well. Oh. A question, how do you send notifications? You can send the notifications using the dashboard. You can go to My Account, open the dashboard, choose, the, choose an app you want to send the notification to, 
and here you can see the notifications tab. You can create a new notification. You can choose whether it is an ongoing notification. You can send a scheduled notification or you can just send the notification right now. You can create the group of users. Uh, by default, they are all users, registered and unregistered users, but you create your own groups if needed. You need to specify the notification name, the notification text, and the notification URL and image if you want them to appear in the notification. And you click the Create button, and that's it. The notification is sent to the users you specified above. Um, there is also an option to send the notification from the app, themsel from the app them themselves. Um, you can go to the editor. Um, it's under the communicate section. You, s you can see the on one one time notification, ongoing notification, scheduled notification there. You will be also able to create to choose or create the user groups here. So it's almost the same that is in the dashboard. So there are two options sending notifications from the dashboard and sending the notifications from the app. That's what we support for now. A question. Do we publish the app through your Apple developer account or ours? We offer both options. Most customers prefer to have their published with their own developer accounts because uh, you be you appear as a developer there. But if you publish the app under our account, Snappy will appear as a developer there. Because most people prefer to be completely white labeled and prefer to submit their apps using their own accounts. But we offer both options as I mentioned. Yes, we do offer a white label partner program. Actually, we have a question here. What is the cost to customize a standard app? If you choose one of our business apps <clears throat> as that you can find out in the Google Play or iTunes Store, there actually is no cost to customize that app. We will customize it completely free of charge. The app will support unlimited users. The cost for the app is a flat $5,000 fee. So for $5,000, It'll cover everything for you. We have a question about location-based notification. Uh, for now, we do not support this option. We only support user-based notification, user groups notifications. Uh, but it is on our roadmap because we'll be improving the notification stuff we have now and probably in the future, in the nearest future, we'll support the notification-based, their location-based notification as well, sorry. <laughs>
Okay, I'm being asked if there is a monthly fee after someone pays the flat fee for five, excuse me, pays the $5,000 flat fee to have a business app customized. The answer is no. It literally is a flat fee. The only time that there is going to be an additional fee to that is if you come back to us three or four months later and ask us to make changes to that app then there would be an hourly charge for that. Oh, we have a question, how is to join to the partner program? Oh, we don't have a partner program as it is. No, we do have a partner program and actually it, the, I'd like to speak with this individual personally about this. If you send an email to sales at snappy.com, I will be happy to give you a call. All right, it looks like we have answered all of the questions, but again, if there are additional questions, please feel free to send them to sales at snappy.com. We appreciate everyone's time today, and I do encourage you to go to the App Store and download our apps and check them out and or register on our website and try your hand at building a custom app on our platform, or if you would like, give us a call and we'll build it for you. Thank you and have a great day.